uh, now I answer the question um, when we pray for people. You talk about pray for people. You talk about laying on of hands or just interceding? Uh, both. Both, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Uh, how to not to be distracted by people, how to be concentrated in prayer to the Lord. Now, this concentration to the Lord is something we have to build up. It doesn't come easily. The reason is the human mind stray away very easily. It all day long we're thinking about this and that and all the time. Uh, for instance, when we're talking with to someone, uh, the person could be talking about, oh, uh, I have a problem. And then instead of listening, very often we'll go to, oh, I have a similar problem, or this person is uh, doesn't help himself, so he's, uh, he's not taking care of his problem. And we think about different things. Or we can think about, oh, what, how, how long he's going to talk, when is he, he going to stop, things like that. It keeps coming up. So to develop this concentration in the Lord, it takes time. And it takes concentration to do that. Uh, there are a few ways that can help how we can concentrate in the Lord when we pray. The first is to understand that God is full of love and He really loves us. He has all kinds of blessings and it's easy to come to Him. And He's very happy that we come to Him. So this concept, he is very happy. You can imagine, we don't have to think of his face, but imagine he's very happy. Actually, the Bible does talk about that when God's people talk, discuss, he will listen to us too. So that's amazing that we have a God like that. So whenever we pray, we say, oh Lord, you're listening to me, I'm so happy. So this help us to realize God you know, is listening and give us motivation to continue. And also, uh, we can think of when we, you know, concentrate in the Lord. I'm going to also be more. Also, yeah. Also, So when we concentrate in the Lord, His blessings can come easily. That He, you know, His presence will come, and His blessings will come, and this will help us. So. Um, so we have this motivation. God is listening and God will bless me when I concentrate in Him. So this, uh, this will help us. And then, what if we look, think of something else? Then immediately we will say, turn back to Jesus. Jesus, turn back to Him. So that's the key. Now, we just keep doing that. The Lord is here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But this concentration need to be developed uh, because very often we can still go back to the prayer of the mind oh God uh, help me help this help that so we think of just the needs instead the more we think of God and more think of our spirit ascending to him the easier it is to concentrate in the world uh, and then Another thing that distracts us is when will this person experience the Holy Spirit? When we pray for someone. So that would distract us too. So we say, okay, it doesn't matter whether he experiences something or not. It's God's work. I just do my part. At the same time, we'll guide the person to relax and put down the burdens, uh, uh, not to think about how you experience. Now, sometimes the person might be questioning and doubt him, what's happening? They will say, is this true? It's uh, Holy Spirit real? Uh, and, and they might question. So we look at a person. If the person is not concentrated, we can ask the person, uh, can you concentrate in the prayer? Can you uh, think about the Lord only? Are you distracted by other things? Are there questions in your mind? Sometimes when we pray, we ask them uh, to know where they are. And then if they are questioning it, then we we'll answer the questions first before we continue to pray for them. Actually, before we pray for someone, we explain first about the wonderful nature of God, His love, His blessings, and how we worship in spirit, and how we put down all the burdens and all the distractions. So it's something we need to guide people because people are not used to praying like that. So it takes time to, to build that up. And then also, 
after I pray for a while, I'll, I'll look at a person. i see if he's concentrated or if he's not. If he's not concentrated, um, then I would try to say, ask the Lord, how can I help him to concentrate more? Now, if he is really into the experience, you can tell, you know, like he's swaying, he's really, you know, really, uh, you can see that how the person is really into it. And you can sometimes see tears. Or sometimes your, your eye moving fast, that's what happened to you when I pray for you. The eyes, eyelashes moving very fast, that's also one sign of the uh, moving of the Holy Spirit. It, because it, it would do things in the, in the body of the person. Sometimes the hand will shake. And then when I see that, then I know that I can continue longer. And I can also tell the person, now, you, your eyelashes are shaking, and I see that maybe um, you're crying, maybe you're touched by the love of God. So God is working in you. So continue con concentrating the Lord, and He'll bless you more. So I'll, I'll see how it is. But if He's totally out of it, sometimes He doesn't close His eyes, sometimes He's just looking around, or He's you can see that he's not concentrated then I might stop and then help him again so so at the same time I concentrate on the Lord at the same time I pay attention to what's happening so it takes time for us to build up this concentration at home I will spend long time praying and also when I'm doing other things I'll be I'll love the Lord all the time so it deep builds up the relationship with God builds up the presence of God with me and also will build up uh, the ability to concentrate. Mm -hmm.